dear students and working accountants welcome to my smart tally prime youtube channel my name is babura from hyderabad and uh, today before going to our topic one important uh, information for you so as i told and as i upload the videos about the classes i am going to start my another new batch of the tally prime that is online as well as offline classes of tally prime with uh, gst and uh, excel from 1st of february that is day after tomorrow from 1st february i am going to start so if any one is interested to join the either the online classes or offline classes can contact me with the, give the phone number also my mobile number in the description as well as in the thumbnail also you can contact me and you have to register your names and the day after tomorrow <laughs> online classes will be by 9 o'clock in the night night 9 pm that is night 9 o'clock every day that is one hour class and these offline classes there will be different timings mostly it will be around offline classes will be around 5 or 6 in the evening that's all because in the day time it will be a problem for me also and this is about the classes and sorry as far as the pieces are concerned for this online classes the that is this is the beginning of my this uh, video i mean classes that's why i am charging very less fees so for the offline classes uh, that is online classes i am going to charge 3000 rupees for the online class i mean offline classes i am going to charge 4000 rupees this is the fee structure if you want you can contact me and register your names and before starting the classes day after tomorrow that is on first you have to pay at least some token advance around 1000 rupees and you have to register your name and then the after few days so we can the balance amount will be collected from you that's all this is about the classes and <clears throat> today we are entering the subject so the item or the topic to be discussed in this video today is i will tell you i will share the screen it is about the one minute this is the bill wise is is outstanding duration or aging analysis it is called actually aging analysis by bill date or due date in the tally prime as well as bill settlement and printing of the reports printing of the these reports printing of the reports all this we will learn so this is in this video we are taking we are going to discuss this uh, no not this one i will do another one so this is the today's analysis aging analysis or how to view the outstanding duration or days by bill date or due date this is called the age of the bill so this is what we are going to discuss today and before that i will tell you actually what is that this aging report means the what is the total time exceeded after the due date that is from the due date or from the date of the bill so before that i will tell you in the big, i i already we started this bill wise details or bill wise uh, entries bill wise entries and in that we had some videos already done so that first one we did in the bill, what is bill wise details or bill wise uh, bill wise try entries and how to enable that and all this we learned and then it is bill wise entries the method of adjustment of the bills the method of adjustment of the bills first one we already discussed so the first one we discussed already in the beginning so there are four methods Ad, i mean uh, new reference advance against reference advance reference and on account so new reference and against reference we completed before that and after that advance against advance report also advance uh, adjustment also advance uh, against against advance also we completed against advance also see against advance advance reference also we completed 
and now one one is remaining on account that will be discussed after this report that is after this outstanding report okay and then this uh, after that on the basis of this uh, against reference new reference against reference advanced reference and there is we discussed about the outstanding reports outstandings under the outstandings we said uh, under outstandings bills receivable bills payable everything we discussed and uh, individual uh, led, I mean, under the outstandings ledger wise as well as group wise we discussed and then under the uh, what you call uh, outstandings another one is outstanding duration or uh, bill aging report so this aging report we are going to discuss now the aging report we are going to discuss now okay and now how to see this aging report so we will go to the tally prime so in this for viewing the aging report first of all we will go to the outstandings so we will go to this outstanding how we will see you will see display more reports then statement of accounts see here statement of accounts and then outstandings we will go in the outstandings we will go to receivables we will go to receivables in this receivables we will see in the receivables in the receivables so here as, what are the due dates i mean what, uh, we, we will know what is the reference number means against the which bills and from which parties what is the amount we have to receive we have to receive what is the amount and what are the due dates what are the due dates and see here this is the second june means second june is the bill date second june is the due date means it means there is no credit period here so the same date is due in all other cases the due dates are not shown means there are due dates but these due dates are not first second or 31st because in the education channel model in the education mode tally prime will not accept any other date except first second and 31st so except those three there are other dates are the due dates here so and after that what are the due dates here what are the due dates we will take up from 1st april to 2nd june only the entries are only up to 2nd june we will take up to 2nd june only 1st april to First April, the date will take up. First April to second June, we are taking only these two. Only these dates we are taking, and here, here. So what we have to do is the calculations are made from the due date only. Even though the due dates are not shown here, there are due dates other than first, second, or thirty-first. And here, these are called the overdue days overdue days means what are the days over and above the due dates that days passed over and above the due dates okay in this case you see here in this case we see here we see here there are the overdue days are given here and for judging the aging report we select we take this outstanding period that is overdue period in groups like 0 to 15 days for example and that means less than 15 days 15 to 30 days 30 to 45 days 45 to and above 45 and above like that we can make the categories are the number because if you make those categories we can understand who are the who are the persons outstanding for a long time so we can concentrate on the longest due period customers and first of all we will try to collect from them and then next people like that so for this purpose how you will do for this purpose what you will do here for this purpose how you will do the report okay so for that we will go so here in tally prime how we will do is this one is if the period is classified so so 0 to 15 days 15 to 35 days who are the who are which views are under the which category for that the aging method or aging report how you can do is see f6 f6 aging method if you select that by bill date or by due date we will take up the due date first we will take up the due date so here i already done 
So 0 to 15 days first you will take. Then 15 to 15 will come automatically here. 15 to 30 days. And then 30 to 45 days. Then 45 above. Above 45 days means starting from 45. And above it is given as 0. Like this, we accept this window. In this case, you see, see these dues are these dues are classified into these days. Less than 15 days, these are all the due. And 15 to 30 is this one. 30 to 45 is this one. Above 45, it is 50 days. 50,000. So, so what we do, we can concentrate on this report. And the longest due is from this person. This against this bill. So we can concentrate and we can collect that. We can collect that bill. First of all, we can collect that bill. We can concentrate on that. Again, we can collect that bill. And then the next lowest period, this one, these we will concentrate. Then this one we will concentrate. These are all less than 15 days. That is why these can be collected later. Like this, by depending on this, we can do. Because but another more thing is, why you did like this is, why you used, why you used this report, why you used this report, like why you used, we are using this report. This is why using aging method means why we are using aging method means if, if if you don't take like this, so here the report is from wait the first April to second June. So first of all, see the report is very small report. So we can see so first one 52 days, that is above 45 days, 41 and 36 will be 30 to 45 days, 16 and 12 days will be 0 to 0 to that is 12 is. 0 to 15 days, 16 is 15 to 30 days, 0 is 0 to 12 days, 0 to 15 days. Like this, you can classify. But if the report is in pages, that is, there are four or five pages of the this bills receivable report. This is bills receivable report. If this bills receivable is in many pages, then we cannot classify, we cannot check up, we can everything. For that purpose, we use this aging method. By due date, we will take up this one and we can understand this we can understand this so with this help of this we can collect the peer amount without any problem because the longest period we can collect then then concentrate on the next longest period then concentrate on the next lowest period like this okay and one more thing is here <clears throat> in this case this is for the bills receivable in the same way and we, and one more thing so this is that period is classified from the due date or we can do here yeah. next one we, this is by due date by bill date also we can take if you take from bill date the same period we can keep or we can change it okay if you like this then again this is given so from the due date or from the bill date whatever it may be so the longest period next to least lowest period next lowest period like this we can calculate and we can Concentrate on them and we can collect proceed to collect the amount from the longer due people, then next lowest people, next lower, lower than, lower the, I mean, next lower period. Like this, we can concentrate. So, in this case, so we have done this for bills receivable. The same thing report we can make for bills payable also. So, but the longest pending, we can pay first, then the next, next lower period. Then we can k for this purpose f5. F5 bills payable. If you click, this is for bills payable. Bills payable. So for bills payable, also the due dates are given as well as the amounts are given. This is 45 days above. This is 30 to 45. This is up to 15. That is 0 to 15. This is very less. So these things we have to first pay. So whenever you get funds from the data, we will make first payment we will make to these people to these people okay like this we can do so this is from build it because we did build it then now we will come to see here bills payable bills payable then we will come to due date also from the due date how many days that report also we can take this is from the due date in the first one is from the bill date now it is from the due date 
this is the longest period this is the next period longest period this is the next longest period this is the next longest period like this we can do so first of all the high, more longer period we will pay then the next lower, lower period we will pay next lower period will pay. we can make the payment so with the help of these reports we can see who from whom we have to collect first from whom we have to collect next literally to whom we have to pay first because longer period then we have to pay to whom like this we can decide okay in this case this bills payable or bills receivable if you want to print this report how you will do simple it is very simple see here on the top alt p is there if you click that again there another window will come again current that is current page so we have to click current we have to click current instead of that what we can do is instead of clicking alt p if you click control p if you click control p directly we will come to the print page now here if you click p or print so automatically it will print before that if you want to see the report so i or preview so we can click i or preview so we will get the and zoom you can click alt z or click the zoom this one will be available okay so if the report is uh, in many pages uh, left to right so with the help of this right arrow button left arrow button we can check on the report okay so this is how and then now here and come back and here if you click print here if you print here or you come back and here p print simply so if you click place also the report will be printed okay so this is about the this is about the report bill by date i mean uh, the aging report by bill date or aging report by due date due date or bill date and also printing the report these bills receivable i mean this bills receivable or bills payable the aging report how to print so not only aging report outstanding reports receivable payable everything we can print this is how we will make printing sometimes in some cases if some cases the next we will teach about we will talk about the bill settlement see here for example one customer comes to us he will ask you what is the total amount due to you okay and in this total amount due to you what are the bills pending for long time what are the bills pending for long time from that bill we will pay some amount some particular amount we will pay we will make the receipt okay in that case what you have to do we have to go to the report here display statement of account statement of accounts then receivables okay outstandings outstandings you go in this outstandings we will go to we have to know the particular ledger here in a receivables all the ledgers will be shown payables also we have to see the individual ledgers then we will go to the ledger so in this case list of ledgers here all debtors these are creditors here ledger means individual parties but all debtors and creditors and group if you take debtors separately creditors separately see here debtors creditors you can take sundry debtors sundry creditors like that so now we will go to the ledger and we will go for example anil radios he approached us anil radios he approached us he asked us to show the bill see here one minute here yesterday we made an entry that is not deleted okay okay here here he asked us to the longest pending bill i will pay 25000 now he came here so we watch open this open his account ledger so here is showing the date wise that is first november now we have to take one first april to second june only we are taking we are making entries on second june because our other entries are up to november that's why it is showing november so these are the thing so in this longest pending is this 50000 rupees he said i will pay 20000 rupees okay so we can do another thing simply you can see this this is reference number 1 means bill number 1 50 so we can go to the payment other voucher accounting vouchers go to the receipt we can make the receipt but here by seeing this again going back instead of that here itself you can make the receipt receipt to voucher also how you know so in this case so here that is the amount due okay it is selected now in this some amount is settled so go to all to be bill settlement or settled bills in the settled bills all to be you go 
So that account selected, so it will show the bill settlement, the party name, and the amount, the first amount is 50,000. It is received, you are receiving that. Received, then we will take 1st July, because it is around 1st June we made. In July, we, he came and asked us, and then, and here, account means how we are receiving the money. Cash or checks, for example, if it is cash, we will take cash. Or if we are receiving by check, we will take check. Okay, State Bank of India and being amount received against bill number one. Okay, that's all. So this we can do. Okay, from here itself we can do, but you note carefully here. If you enter this, you accept this, so it is showing the receipt voucher. It is showing the receipt voucher, everything is okay. But here the amount is shown as the total amount is shown. He is paying only 25,000. So make it 25,000 rupees. And then directly it is going, not against reference, direct is going down. So we have to go back. That is, back button you have to press. And again, press back button. Make it 25,000. Make it 25,000. And then enter. Or if you can want to check up the against reference also, again go back. So that 50,000 reference is one. So it is correct. So like this, we can make the entry. That is That means, we can make that. I mean, for example, he paid by check number and the instrument date is uh, 1st July. Okay. And then bank name is, his bank is some bank. Here bank details are not game. Here we have to take space bar. Then it will give, because ours is education channel, it will not show the name of the bank. Otherwise, if you pay, put the cursor here, it will display the bank names on the right side if it is a licensed version. So like this, you can say, for example, Bank of India, for example, that's all. So we'll make the entry here. So directly here itself, we are making the entry and we are making the receipt voucher, everything we are making here. And after that, it will be here only, where it will be in the same window that is the, in the account only, and it will show the balance. Everything is here only, completed. We can go to the accounting vouchers, voucher, I mean, uh, F6, Receipt voucher we can make and everything you do. Again, you have to go to party account, you have to check up everything. But here, bill settlement means everything is done here. That is making the receipt voucher uh, entry, making the receipt voucher. And after that, it will be here only. Our page will be this only, not going out. So here, we can see the balance also. Post dated amount means amount paid. That is here, 1st April. That is the bill amount, bill date. But it is paid on 1st July. That is why it is given as post dated. If you go to the account, it will show up directly. Okay. So here itself, we can see the balance. Now we will go to his account. How we will go to D A L ledger. So Anil, Anil radios. So if you go to that Anil radios, total middle amount. See, these are the bills available three. And on 1st July, we received to the bank. 25,000 rupees. Here the everything entry is correct already. Everything is done. From that itself, we did everything. So the balance is 75. So 25, this is 1 lakh. On 25 received. So 325, 75,000 rupees is the balance. So the same thing, everything making the receipt voucher, making the account and seeing, watching the balance. Everything is done in the report only. That is outstanding ledger. Outstanding in ledger, if you go, you will get the party, they select the party ledger, then we can do everything there and you can see the balance also and if we come back to this report, that is if you come back to the ledgers, then we will see the same thing here, okay in the regional model, so this is about the aging report, this is about the aging report and how to view the aging report, how to make the aging report and how to, how to print the reports and what is meant by the Settle bills are how with the use of settle bill, how you make this. Okay. And now, sorry, one minute, one more thing. Uh, here, this uh, tally will make one problem also. So, no, no, we have seen that. Anil computer, the problem, the same thing we did, sorry. Without watching this, we see our customer, Anil Radius approached us and asked us, asked how does the total amount due from us to you he asked us, from us to you, we pay 25 to be the longest due. With the help of settle bills, 
all to be option available in outstandings prepare customs customers received voucher so we did the same thing okay so so with this this topic is complete and i request all the friend all the people whoever has not yet subscribed to my channel please subscribe my channel and click the bell icon and select all so that you will get notification for all the videos which i am uploading okay and then you share my channel with all your friends as well as others also working accountants or others who are who are willing to tell know the i mean uh, learn the tally prime so you share the channel and while watching the video you please watch the video till the end don't skip in the middle till the end you watch the video and at the end after watching full video if it is good just you click the thumb icon thumb is symbol and you like the video and your idea about this video you post in the comment section then only i can understand how is the video how you are receiving the video and i can understand you think the about the video so don't forget to forget to make the comments okay and also while watching these videos you watch all the videos in the same order in which i am uploading that is i am making all the videos date wise you also follow the date wise and make most of the and all the videos you make very good practice also if you practice three times or four times then only you will get good knowledge if you follow the same order then you will get you will gain expert knowledge and you will become an expert accountant okay so i wish all of you gain expert knowledge and become expert accountants and the thing is i told you already in the beginning i am starting the uh, online and offline classes in from 1st of february okay so the fees for the offline classes is 4000 and for the online classes it is 3000 rupees but online classes the time is fixed because in that night means everybody will be free i will be free you will be free everybody will be free that is why 9 o'clock i fix the time by 9 9 to 1 hour and if it is possible after one or two days by watching this after one or two days we may advance one hour before that we can start by 8 also first of all i fixed by 9 and if after some time if it is possible we can shift it to one hour before that that is 8 o'clock we will shift okay and if you want to join these classes but by 31st i will but tomorrow by tomorrow you register send your details in my whatsapp my number is given that is a whatsapp number also so send your details like your name place qualification etc and you want offline or online send the details and register your name and day after tomorrow before the start of the classes at least you have to pay some token advance like 1000 rupees and you can register and the balance will be paid it can be paid after some time after few days okay so this is about the classes and i wish you all the best and thank you and good night bye